Hey, what's happening, guys? Uh, you know how much I love oscillators. We've done a lot of videos on them, and we're going to do another one today. Today is going to be the phase shift oscillator. And it's a pretty cool little circuit, and at the center of it is an op amp. We're going to be using the 741 op amp common easy to use easy to get to op amp and it's an interesting circuit we're going to take our non-inverting input and tie it to ground and then from our output we're going to come back to our inverting input with a resistor in this case we're using 10k now also from our output we are going to run three capacitors and we are also going to run three resistors in parallel to ground And then to tie everything back together, we're going to come off that last resistor, come back around, and tie it into our inverting input with another resistor. Now our capacitors are all 10 microfarad and our resistors are all 10K. So that's the circuit. I'll zoom in here so you can get a better look at it. Very simple. Let's take a look at it. So we're driving our split power supply. Let me zoom out. With two nine volt batteries now let's zoom in okay so here's our op amp uh, this is pin one over here and it's an offset null pin two is our inverting input pin three non-inverting pin four is negative vcc pin five is offset null Pin 6 is output, pin 7 is positive VCC, and pin 8 is not connected. So, pretty simple to see what we got going on here. From our output, we have this 10K resistor feeding back into our inverting input. Also, from our output, we have the string of three capacitors, and we have three resistors coming off and from this final one here we're feeding back through another 10k resistor into the inverting input so let's go uh, take a look at that in the All scope right, so here we have our waveform on the screen and it looks like a triangle wave but it is a form of a sine wave we have a two millisecond per division time base and two volts per division uh, vertically we're fluctuating right here around 160 Hertz so that's one way to build a phase shift oscillator using an op amp but you can also do it with a transistor let's take a look at that alrighty here is the phase shift oscillator running with a transistor instead of the op amp here is the schematic for it up here um, all of our, our resistors again are 10k and all of our capacitors are ceramic 35 picofarad let's uh, zoom in here and give you a better look at the circuit
a little more complicated than the op amp one but this is how you did it uh, before we had ICs right <laughs> okay so let's swing up here and take a look at the scope All right, there we are. See, we're looking a little more sine wavy here. Bring up the measure window. Now, our hardware frequency counter is reading 100, 200 hertz. Up here, we're reading 60 hertz. We've got a peak to peak of 134 millivolts. So, that's it for today phase shift oscillators i hope you enjoyed it if you did give me a thumbs up feel free to comment and share and get out some components get out a breadboard and let the magic smoke out of some stuff it's fun <laughs>